Right, time to get a show on the road. So I can finally take down this boss. Hi everybody. Yeah. So we've got one more one boss left to do. That's all there is. And it's this weird ass AI thing. Which way is it? This way. No, it's the other way. I'm going to see if I can kill one of these. Freaky things. See if you do actually get anything off them. Is he gone? You. Bah. Help if I didn't get one shot. I just want to see if they drop out, see if I can actually kill one. healed itself it makes the little one and it looks like it bugged out oh well trying to bug straight away <laughs> It's slightly easier. And yeah, we can just run through all this junk. So there's like one final bridge there to drop down. I'm assuming that drops down anyway. And we got this knob in here to fight. What I've seen so far, this thing, the objective seems to be to break these limbs. It's just actually managing it that's the problem. Does that hedgehog thing? Ow! Right, I did better on that one attempt than I have done so far, so. Aiming for his limbs seems to be the play. I'll just try and get the awkward ones first, like the ones from the back. Is 
That's the hedgehog who I don't like. Sweep got me. So I really need full health when he goes for one of those sweeps. So you're just scraps. Everything else comes from implants. Which I am full up on. That's not fair. Not done that before. It's just mean. Right, so he does have big gun range attacks as well. I would be tempted to switch up weapons to the the one that I actually found near the boss, but I don't know if I have the resources to, like, do all the upgrades for it. I need to be at full health at all times if possible. Although I am going to have a quick nosy back at the the desk space. See if that new weapon's worth using at all. May as well switch it up to the fancy one for the boss if I can. But first... They're one of the AI things around here that I can try and smash. There is. You. Eh. Or not. Right, so now it should put me back to the health center. Yeah, it did. Right, so the weapon that I picked up is you damage 30 or damage 81 or oh, you're heavy but I'm out. Oh, Mod Zeb Lobbish, a resub for eight months and a Prime Yes message. Thank you for the continued support, my friend. It's always great to have you here. Thank you, Maud. How are you doing? How has your day been? How's work been, actually? With your new sub fancy subway job. <laughs> Work is nice. Are you getting paid a decent amount as well? Because you said you were woman and iron about the pay. So I don't think this weapon is any better than what I was using. So I'm going to swap back. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, remember to ask just in case. Right, so you're just 71, you 81. You're slow. Yeah, you said you were just wanting to get out of where you were. So, it's understandable, really. And with it being Subway, it's supposed to be a big company, so they should be paying you at least the minimum. Like, minimum wage. Well, I'm not sure how much that is in the Netherlands. You had any of the crazies coming yet? Like I knew somebody who worked at Subway when I was at uni, and they used to always tell us about people who come in and order really, really weird stuff. Like they had a guy who would go in there and he would just order a sandwich. And he wouldn't have any meat or any cheese or anything like that on it. He would just have lettuce, jalapenos, pickles, and then a shit ton of like, like a vinegar sauce kind of thing. Oh, he's done the range thing again. And the guy used to go in like every other day and order that. I think I need to just stick with the sprinting tactic with this boss. Oh, he's done the... Whatever that ranged attack is, whenever he does it, it just ruins me. Every time. Yeah, this is the only way to go. Pretty sure whatever I do down here is going to open up the path to the other side. Everything this thing can hit me with almost one shots me. I'm just gonna have to bang my head off it for a while. No, oh, don't do the range thing. Nope, never mind. If he just manages to do that attack, I'm fucked. Thank <laughs> you. 
Same again. Shop, Dave. You can say the same when you get to this part of the game. How are you doing, Dave? How's your day been? Have you recovered from that sunstroke you had yet? Yeah, today was my only day off this week, and I'm kind of glad of it because it was roasting. Oh no. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Is it just like the last two bags I think you said before, there's just no shade or anything there? Maybe you should just get good at delivering stuff. Yeah, if he does that or the ranged spikes attack at the start, I'm just fucked.
that unless there's some special trick to avoiding it, but... limbs there. What do I hit? I can't target any of it. Unless... Can I overcharge this thing now? Can. Now what? Whoa! fight it like any other person. Pop in and out. combo. Right, and now the big question, does he now start at that phase because I broke the circuit? Or do I have to start the entire thing again? I have to do the entire thing again. It's just because breaking the circuits is usually a permanent thing.
but apparently not that one. Hey, I've already beat that boss on Sekiro, more than once. Jump got me. Right, so I know I've got to try and save stuff for phase two as well now. And phase two is more of a human like fight. Oh, not these things again. This is what fucked me up last time. I'm alright. I have Starfield downloaded and ready. So I'm going to try that out on Sunday. And then I've got more training to do with people at work this week, which could be interesting. And I am happy because I rearranged my days. The longest day of the week. My 12 hour shift I never get to do from home. Um, not yet, because I'm going to get it on... PS5. And I'm not sure if it's actually available on PS5 yet. I forgot to check. drop him down to about a quarter and that's when it lets me do the does it this time and then got him now back to phase two wow that's a long combo
Oh, I'm a little knocked down, but he works. Yeah, second was the original release date for it, but it's been delayed. I think it's the 11th now, but I'm not 100% sure. Last phase, and well, in that second phase, anyway, he's a lot more aggressive. But he fights like a person, so I can't stay in. Otherwise, he just powers through stuff. Um, we'll try the electromagnet next time for the funny, for the funny business. Check what these actually do. Following it, putting small humanoid enemies towards it. Reduces damage. Ramming speed. That's the slowdown one. Flame throw. And the ranged attack. Might try the slowdown one. I get the chance. If he staggers me with that attack, I'm fucked. It's one of the few things I don't actually like about this game is the stagger from the attacks is like not predictable at all. Sometimes an attack will stagger you, sometimes it will do nothing. And I've not found any reliable way to tell which yet. Like then. His first swing staggered me and I was mashing dodge then. And there was nothing I could do to avoid the second one. But that first swing doesn't always stagger me and I can't tell all the differences.
Ah, uh, can't reach. Right, just the big arm left now. Ah, that's what it is. So each time I break one of his limbs, he takes some of the stuff protecting the breaker to, like, regen. So after I've broke three limbs, he's drained enough stuff away that... Get to it. Hi Glob. I am doing the last boss. He is a pain. We are back to phase two again. I'm gonna go for two hits at most. I'm gonna wait until he does his combos to try and get the hits in. To chip away at this guy, I will. Come on, slow down. Drawn body. Yeah, slow down does nothing. How about fire? Oh, fire does a little bit. Quick kinetic shield. There's the rocket taking off, finally. No Dave, now I have to fight the rocket. It's the rocket that's going to ruin the universe, or at least Earth. with Argos-1. Our initial thoughts were a system malfunction, but within minutes all our orbital arrays blinked out. We're hearing the same from our friends in Beijing. There's power out all along the eastern seaboard. We've lost everything. Yeah, the crazy man scheme broke everything. Before it went dark, Argos picked up an unidentified particulate dispersal from the latest resolve launch. Whatever it is, it's completely different from the previous payloads. There's going to be casualties, but we have no way of knowing how many. The network is shutting down bit by bit. The only way I'm talking to you now is because of hard lines and... Sir, if you can hold on for a sec. S sir. We didn't have time for introductions before. My name is your quick and job. To make sure that we can have not just a future, but a new beginning. Well, shit. So yeah, for those of you who missed the other bits of the story. The crazy guy who made this facility full of mechs and stuff. 
was basically trying to fix the planet. But then decided part way through, fuck it, we'll just wipe everything else out and reset. So the rocket that he's just fired into the air was loaded up with nanites. And have now ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, they originally had a plan to like seed the atmosphere with specific chemicals to promote rainfall and shit like that. And then he decided, no, we'll just use nanites instead. And he left a back door to reprogram them. And reprogram them and reprogram them into fuck everything. Oh yeah, that means all the tech is shut down, which means our dude can't walk anymore because we started in a wheelchair, didn't we? So now his rig suit will have shut down. Well, shit. And there is a second game, but I'm not going to jump straight into it. I will play it eventually, but. Yeah, you were there when the game started, Dave. You get this cool intro sequence, a bit like, um... Like the intro to Half-Life. Like the first Half-Life game, you're basically in like a... Like a monorail going through all the labs at the base, at uh, Black Mesa and everything. This one, you're on like public transport, but it's first person. And it's only when the actual intro finishes that it zooms out and your dude's in the wheelchair. But yeah, I'm not sure what the second game is going to be about. Hi, Trua! I have just finished game. <laughs> you didn't miss much. There was only literally the last boss fight to do. It took me a few attempts, but I managed it. And you missed one of your favourite tropes as well, which is mad scientist ruining the world. Because he decided his fix-it plan didn't work. So I might just stick around for a bit after this. I can't remember what else I've got installed on my PlayStation. i got a bunch of stuff. But I've been playing through Control again. When Alan Wake comes out, because <laughs> they uh, they finally confirmed that the first Alan game Wake, first Alan Wake game, Control and Quantum Break all occur in the same universe, so they're now a linked universe. And Control is the only one I've not finished, so I'm gonna play through it. Ready for Alan Wake 2, which I cannot wait for. And there we get some fancy country music. Yeah, there was even a guy earlier on in the game, Truer, who was like, oh, who had been using the same nanites to basically reanimate people, to turn them into robot people, and I just murdered him straight up. He was like, oh yes, we are making progress, we are creating artificial humans, look at this corpse of the friend you had, she's now alive again. It's like, no, she's a mindless robot, you dickhead. I can skip. Yeah, it takes me straight back to the main menu. Does it unlock anything else? New game plus unlocked. Let your last save game name out with NG plus. Start a new journey of challenges and surprises. You will keep all your gear, weapons, and character progress. Ooh. 
Right, okay, have a, let's have a look and see what else I've got installed. Oh, look, we get a nice Aldous Huxley reference as well. Brave New World. <laughs> 